You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pound our town and your why because Family League's coming to town, oh yeah, Family League's coming to town, Family League is coming to town. Right, folks, back once again with another match review. Looking back at Bob and Rover's latest match, or should I say, latest win at a uh, title of the championship up against Bob. And I will get to it in just one second. If you know where you be, boy, smash your subscribe, look at your bank, leave all things Bob and Rover's related, the air's related, world football related. We got it all here under one rooski. Goodness gracious me, who'd have thunk it? I didn't think it. Did you think it? Two new winners of a high flying Bournemouth. Oh, four wins on the spin, four clean sheets. What about that? Four points off, top two. That's right. Goodness gracious me. They're coming fours, boys and girls. We'll talk all about it, all of it in a minute. Of course, big shout out to my VRPs. They are the pay a tree on Second Field Love and, of course, behind the scenes. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, if you want to help us out, check out that link down below, patreon.com forward slash But anyway, we're going to jump in the deep end, of course, and recap the game itself. Oh, God. Oh, goodness gracious me. Ah, uh, two to win in the end. Uh, Rovers coming out on top. Uh, I didn't think it. So that it's given us an extra life, really, uh, because I didn't expect to win this one. Of course, we've got some uh, 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 much more less intimidating matches coming up ahead. But of course, uh, it does give us a sort of uh, get out of jail free card if we were to, um, to to drop points then, say against Birmingham next week, which hopefully. We will not do that. So two 0 win it was. Uh, look at this. Look at it. Look at it. And in all honesty, we we robbed we robbed the bank here today. Bournemouth were definitely in this game, and of course, I feel in all honesty, if I'm going to be hand on heart honest here, they should have come in, come out away uh, come away with this with something. But you know what? It happens. I don't want to sound all uh, like something stuck up my ass, like a silver spoon stuck up my ass, or anything like that. But if you're going to get promoted, whether it is champions, whether it is as runners up, or whether you're in the playoffs. Sometimes luck doesn't go with you. Do you know what I mean? You know, you, you, you can play shit and you grab a result like this. If, if it does go in our favour, we're going to look back on this result as 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 a, probably a massive turning point for Rovers. So let's 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 take it what it is. We we got out of jail. We got this bonus three points. I didn't think we would ever get anywhere near this. Probably you guys at home didn't think we'd get anywhere near this, but we did. Two new in, in the end. 68% possession. That's the tail of the table right there. Wait till you see the heat maps. That's how bad your, you know, I thought Rovers were. But we took our chances and we made them count. The first, coming on the 21st minute, it says Ben Pearson up there. You know what? Big Ben did score one way or the other, whether it is uh, uh, Big Ben or Berta Diaz, who I would claim to have the goal. But in all other way possible, the calmest of karma has hit Ben Pearson in the big, fat, fuck, ugly face. And that is, of course, giving us a big, fat OG there. He's for years tormented us in midfield when he was at Preston, whether it is here at Bournemouth, whoever. But, of course, he's forever been a, 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 a fork in our eyeball, been a pain in my ass. Uh, but finally, a bit of sweet karma uh, came back on came back on him and, of course, uh, giving us a big, fat uh, own goal there. So we'll take it whichever way. Ben scored, either it's Ben, ben Diaz or whether it's Ben Beg, Ben, ben, ben Pearson, of course. So well done to the Bens there. Of course, the second goal... No question. Probably the goal of the day across the championship. Jean-Paul Van Heck with a bullet. Oh, yes. A karate kick expert himself. Uh, bullet header past the keeper. No chance. No chance. Of course, if you haven't seen it, uh, wait till you check it out on whether it's uh, Quest or whether it's some highlights in Sky. But if you just want to go to my Twitter, you can have a look at the goal yourself because uh, it was an absolute cherry. But as you see, they had more possession. But guess what? We made that. We made our possession count. In the 32% of our possession, we had 11 shots for them. We're on tar off target. Uh, of course, they had uh, 15 shots, a 68% uh, possession, four of them off target as well. Uh, Pairs, absolute credit. Give him, you know what, he should have an extra extra uh, dollop of mashed potato on his meal tonight because he did absolutely fantastic between the sticks. And, you know, I've worried. I panicked. I panicked when when uh, when uh, Kaminsky was out. You know what, I feel quite like, it's, it's like having two Ferraris, you know what I mean? We don't know which one to drive. Uh, do we drive the automatic or do, do we drive the manual? You know what I mean? It's, we're spoiled for choice now. Pears is now really staking the claim, as is the centre-back quandary. Uh, I, I was looking forward to seeing Ayala back, but you know what? Credit to Mowbray. He played his top. He's played his cards, 
and he's going to roll. We'll look at the start 11 in a minute because I've got a lot to talk about this in this video. Um, so other the stats down here, the free kicks at 18 to our seven um, and we were offside once. Uh, but let's, let's take a look at the, the, the numbers. I'll break it down a little bit more here. And then uh, the corners was five apiece. Uh, that's, of course, both in the first and second half. They had two big chances and they missed both big chances. We had two big chances and we missed both, uh, we missed both as well. And we also hit the woodwork according to this. I'm not too sure when that was. Uh, two counterattacks from Rovers again. They had more passes. They had a lot of the ball. Uh, aerial duels, was it won by us? No, it was won by them. Uh, 17 uh, aerial duels won compared to our 14. They won more duels on the ground. Uh, pretty much very, very green. The only things that, are, of course, uh, are different, of course, is the uh, the uh, the uh, fouling, the offsides, bows, yellow cards going in favour of Rovers. Uh, but we did have a, a, just as many good chances as they do, and Kip's keeper was on tip-top form. So, of course, break the halves down now, 245 segments, of course, 66% possession for Bournemouth in the first half, 34% for Rovers. Uh, again, all green, all the good stuff's in green. Of course, we did hit the woodwork in the first half, allegedly. I can't really remember it myself. Uh, goalkeepers was very, very active as well. Uh, interceptions, 10, 11 closes, they were very some very very close calls uh, that could have gone to, in favour of uh, Bournemouth, but luckily they didn't. As for the second half, much more favourable for the blue, but still a lot heavy numbers uh, for Bournemouth. Seventy two percent possession in the second half, uh, twenty eight percent for us. And again, I'll show you the heat maps in a little second. Though let's take a little look then, of course, at the starting lineups. Here we go with of course the host Mark Travis between the sticks, uh, Stevie Cook, Gary Cahill, uh, their centre backs. Oh, it's six Weirdo. This is Robbie Brady, that's right, formerly of uh, 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 Burnley, of course, now at playing straight down south. Uh, Jack Stacey, of course, and right back we have Ben. We have Pick the way, Ben. Oh, then that's right. Of course, he loves to put the ball in the back of the net. Loves a bit of a challenge as well. And of course, Karma has bitten him right in the arse there. Lewis Cook as well. Ryan Christie. Jane Van Anthony, of course, who does look a player. And I think it won't be long. Again, he could be one of the next players to be out of Bournemouth and onto a bigger and better things. Uh, not that saying that they're you know, not bigger and better things, but I do think he's a very good player. Uh, Jamal Lowe up there. Of course, he could have been wearing a blue white half of Rovers. But um, you know what? I think we might have dodged a bullet there. And Dominic Solanke, uh, of course, didn't score today. He's in the back pocket of this man. Of course, when I say this man, I mean Van Heck. Uh, of course, the subs, we saw Lloyd Kelly coming on, uh, Mike Condes as well at halftime, and Morgan Rogers, who is, of course, uh, is he burnt, bought, bought from uh, Manchester City? Uh, regardless, he was shite. Anyway, next up, of course, we had, of course, Rovers, pairs between the sticks. We had Scotty Wharton, Van Heck, and Lennon, our uh, back trio of wonders, uh, of course. And a lot of these guys are Rovers Academy products. Let's take a look at it. Scotty Wharton Academy, Lennon Academy, Travis Academy, Nyambi Academy, uh, Buckley Academy. Uh, we could say DS Academy, can't we? Uh, no, not really. Uh, but, you know, it's quite a good sign when you look at that. So let me count them up again. One, two, uh, three, four, five of the five of the eleven are, are academies. So you know what? Fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Travis and Ruffaway in midfield, they're doing the bits at the moment. Of course, we have Nyambi on the right, Pickering on the left. The only negative, I think, for Rovers, despite it wasn't really the best attacking display, but now he did come off with an injury. Uh, Buckaroo in there did fill in the void. He's a player. Kadra up there as well, and Diaz. You know what? Get the checkbook out, Marbury. Sign Van Heck, sign Kadra. I think they're absolutely uh, incredible players as well. Oldest man on the field was uh, Joe Rothwell, 26, oh, sorry, actually, Darren Lennon, 27 years of age. Let's take a look at the subs then. We did see the likes of Daniel Lahr. Oh, yeah, he came on. To be honest, we didn't see that happening. Bradley Johnson also came on, and of course, Sam G as well. Let's take a little look at, of course, how they fared with, of course, a third-party point of view. Not my opinion here, but uh, they give the man of the match to Jean-Paul Van Heck with 8.1. It's probably about right. In fact, AC Pierce with 8.3 gets the man of the match. Joe Rothwell with an 8 as well. Uh, again, yeah, the, the forward line from Rovers was pretty tosh. As for uh, Bournemouth, Stevie Cook, Jack Stacey with uh, over 7s there. Ryan Christie with 7.7 .7 as well. Uh, down here is a timeline of all the events. Of course, that did take place. Let's take a look at some of the, the shot grid here. Rovers are represented by the blue. Uh, Bournemouth are represented by the orange. A lot of stuff going on. That's the goal right there. You can see just about there. Um, uh, tackles. Touches. Sorry, engine 22. That's a lot there. 511 for Rovers. 592 for uh, uh, Bournemouth. For passing. 280 as well. Um, yeah, a lot of shots outside the box. Quite a few in the inside the box. And again, uh, we did hit the woodwork, allegedly. Uh, this is the heat maps. As you can see, we were... We were guests here. We were guests. Hardly ever challenged that uh, that uh, uh, attacking third there. Really, and when we did, it was on the um, it was on the flanks. Uh, There's a massive V here. Massive V. Uh, big peg back here. Of course, Bournemouth having a lot of possession in the middle there. But of course, it'll be Rovers that going away with a big old fat grin today as we take home the three points with two nil and of course four wins on the spin. What did Tony Amobri have to say about that game? Tony, take it away. 
before we get going, of course, I want to showcase this amazing uh, hoodie jumper here. Of course, it is our big bad boy, Brota Diaz, of Blackburn Rovers and La Roca fame. Of course, he is uh, ripping up in the championship these days. And, of course, he could actually kick on uh, to either the Premier League or maybe even La Liga next season. Now, of course, we do have these shirts that are available. They, of course, they do support the channel. Uh, and, of course, they also support local artist Ben Hayward, who did design uh, this uh, amazing bit of artwork. So if you want to get involved and help the channel in another way, uh, of course, support a local artist, this is a great place to start. There will be a link to this uh, hoodie uh, in the old description down below you can get it in of course black monroe is white or blue uh and also in of course Viva La Roca red here i have actually sold a couple of these bad boys so a big big shout out to the guys that did purchase this and again if you think this is a bit too much for yourself or for your other half or for your member of your family you could also explore a big bad boy burton diaz mug it is out there as well for a little bit uh, a little bit less money there but of course it also so it supports the channel in another way so please make sure you check it all out it does wonders for the channel and of course uh, it gets the diaz face out there it also gets my little face out there but anyway let's kick it on with of course the next round of picture predictions no no i, th I think um it's a really really difficult place to come to the, you know the, the the stats show that really i think did the, i was looking in the program there the they went 10 11 games without defeat winning seven or eight of them at um Scott's a top manager, top bloke, and I think they've got some really top players in their team. We had to work extremely hard today, and yet the core of our team, that's what we do, really. We make life difficult for the opposition, and we um, generally play on the transition rather than trying to dominate the ball these days. So, um, yeah, a really hard fought, hard worked for victory, at, uh, but I think they believe they can they can give anybody a game. You know, we've, we've said that consistently at... Um, and it's a great result for us. We rode our luck a little bit at times, but um, that's okay. You need a bit of that in, in football. Bournemouth went unbeaten the first 15 games of the season. You're the only the, the second team to win here all campaign. It shows how good a, a result this is. Yeah, listen, it was a great result. Can't, I'm not. I wouldn't come here and say, "Oh, yeah, it was all right. We expected it. We knew we had a tough football match today against some real top players." And um, but yeah, we we are we are capable. You know, is, is that? I think four, four on the bounce of four clean sheets. You know the team have, have um, clicked into place, and yet, as I was just saying to my media guy there, it's um, you see the injuries that mount up when you work as hard as we work. It, it there, there becomes muscle fatigue, and uh, the good thing is only one one game a week at the moment. If we'd had a game Tuesday, we'd probably got three or four who wouldn't be making it. But um, hopefully, you know, a week of, of rest and training and preparation for the next one, and we'll we'll, we'll be ready for next Saturday. Yeah, talk through the injuries. Scott Wharton came off, Ryan Nyambe came yeah. off, and, and Bradley Johnson, who you came on, yeah. he was playing on and, and looked, he, he was injured as well. Yeah. Scott Wharton was ill, not injured. He wanted, I say, he wanted to come off at half time. The, the medical department was stressing to me that he maybe should come off at half time because he, right from the start of the game, he'd, he was ill. I, I think a, an upset stomach rather than any relevant stuff that people talk about with, with, with illness at the moment. But. Um, but he, he soldiered on through it and then he, he, he felt as if he couldn't go on. He was washed out, really. and um, So that's not a concern. He'll have a week to, to get back up to, up to speed. Um, Ryan Niambi, his hamstring, really, I think. you know I'm driving him pretty hard second half up and down that wing and um, he's feeling his hamstring. Bradley Johnson took a knock. Um, I think Van Heck was telling me he wanted to come off as well at one stage so um, we had to we'd have used all our subs by then so we had to stay on and so we have got a few knocks and niggles at the moment but um, they all feel better in the dressing room having taken the points today. Yeah Van Heck did a, a job at both ends he was terrific defensively and it was a, a bullet header which uh, gave you the 2-0 the cushion. Yeah so I'm always telling them come on let's score from set plays because the game is so hard it's uh, you know the, you, you play you can see today listen they are a top football team they were trying to figure out how to get through us really and then how to overload certain areas of the pitch and how to when to play forward and when to go back and across and out the other side you know like a, a, a proper experienced football team and yet um, we made life really difficult for them and yet we, our threat on the transition is is there for all to see really Brereton um, obviously, John Buckley's been amazing, really. Um, he's not a centre forward, but he, he plays that false nine position and gets hold of the ball and can slide people away. I think Kedra has just got lightning speed. Sam Gallagher's coming back from injury, and we got him half an hour today. So, Tyrese Dolan, you have to throw into that as well. He can run and break away, and, and um, we can carry a threat against any team, I think. And every player played their part today, but Ainsley Pears has, has come in when Kaminsky has been out injured, and yeah. two really superb saves today. Yeah. 
as an asshole, I say, I, that, that's not luck. I didn't say that was like, we at times ball ricocheted for us maybe around the box and we cleared it and hooked it and blocked it. Percy made a couple of brilliant saves. I would have to say it's so hard. I said this last week, really. It's so hard for a goalkeeper to um, not play for months and months and months, prepare and train every single day as hard as everybody else and then nothing at the end of it, sit on the bench knowing you're not coming on unless there's an injury. And um, Yeah, delighted with him. I'm delighted for him, really. All right, then, folks, let's take a look at what's going on on social media, then starting with uh, Chris Martin. Not that one, but this one, of course. Uh, that is what we call a statement win. Get the book in there, he says, Rovers. Meanwhile, Becky said, massive win. That three out of four home games coming up as well. Uh, Bellas, aka Eric Blue Monster, said, Potters off to the beer fridge and might have at least four, she says. Uh, meanwhile, Mickey Dillap said, Bournemouth pretending like they have had a hard run off the ref. They did, and Rovers were absolutely rock solid. Dominant in the air and threatened the counter and took their chances when they popped up. Good luck picking a man of the match from that Give it to any one of them. Liam Diaz says, uh, right place, right time. Clinical from Ben. Pearson, that is. Uh, meanwhile, Raza said, uh, the fact that there's a Pearson OG is even better. There's Mowbray looking cool as you like. Mark Whittle said, um, wow, this team, what a result. Another clean sheet. I'm definitely starting to dream and believe. And Neil, aka Black Menendez, said that was very, very good. Uh, he said, Steve B said, 20 points out of 27. Goodness gracious me. Uh, Rosina said, once again, after the performance of the back line was just chef's kiss like this. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. Uh, Shrishki Shishki said, Sweet baby Jesus, Mary Joseph and the wee donkey. Uh, as Rovers celebrated a 2-0 win. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, without that player, that's a heavy back pocket. Yeah, that's some of, some of the comments there. Uh, what else do we have? Lindsay Lewis said, As close as I'm legally allowed to be, making us prouder and prouder. Team Diaz, Vamos Chile, Rovers indeed. One and only Dukes, of course. What a result. The defensive unit today was immense. So much commitment and quality from each and every one of them. Uh, and what a lone sign of Anhek has been the passion come on you blues uh what else do we have uh rose Ray says can we start getting excited now i don't know i really don't know uh talk of evil said today's win marks mowbray's 100th rovers win coming his first coming in one new win over derby what a job this man has done uh so far on and off the field chris Loft, that's what a win what up the bloody blues he says ian austin lover pearson og Prick, he calls them. Rotham Prescott. All right, Joe Rothwell's contract. Leave it blank and let it put whatever number he wants. One of the best midfields I've seen outside the top flight. Um... Lindsay Lewis, again, what a phenomenal run. What a phenomenal group. Let's just enjoy every single second. Levy, not Kenny, said, closer to second than seventh. Our oh, bloody love this group, he says, or club. Nayami, biggest win. A big win against a strong size. Safe travels back, the fans. Chris Martin, not that one, but this one, he says. The long journey back home would be even better if you sign the contract in response to that bad boy. Northern Rover, God knows what is happening, but I am loving uh, it. But Rover, stop it. You're starting to give me hope that something good might happen. That scares me because of it. Uh, I had conditioned myself to more years of misery. Enzo Music, we know him as well. The team is already in the top five. What a level. You can. Let's go, Rovers. Colin Hendry, Blackburn Rovers, take a bloody bow, lads. Turkish tonight, unbelievable season so far. Wow. Uh, Lewis likes to inject it, boys. Blood Rovers and the Premier League. And then, of course, a whole lot of jibber-jabber uh, on there. Stop this. It's bloody stop the count. Stop the count. Absolutely fantastic. We were third at one stage, but, of course, that uh, petered out later. Anyway, let's take a look at what else is going on around the championship with Ben Chad. Of course, uh, earlier today, it was a one more draw between Huddersfield and Coventry. Of course, Swansea, uh, formerly managed by Stevie Cooper, now managed by Forest Day 1. Forest 4-1 winners. Preston with a new manager. 2-1 win over Barnsley. 2-2 it was. Birmingham against Cardiff. Uh, scrappy deputy do effort there. West Brom, of course, the guys that denied us third. 1-0 winners. Hull City 2. Bristol City 2. What a comeback there from Bristol City. Fulham 1. Uh, Luton Town 1. Fulham 1. Goodness gracious me. Drop points there. Peterborough come back from behind. 2-1 winners over Millwall. Derby pick up a 1-1 over Blackpool. And Stoke nil. Uh, Middlesbrough nil. Tomorrow will be Sheffield against QPR. We're all set. That's actually on Monday. Uh, all Sheffield United are we. Let's take a little look then. Of course, what's going on? The table looks like this. Take a bloody picture. Of course, we are four points off a second. Uh, and we are the form team to, to stop right now. Uh, Sheffield United are three wins in the bounce. Of course, if they do beat uh, uh, Matey Boy QPR, there'll be four wins in the bounce as well. And there will also be the form side to stop. Next up, of course, it is Birmingham. We've got one win in five. It would be a good time to play them, I think. Especially because they threw it away against Cardiff. You are in trouble, of course. Let's take a look at, of course, next next weekend. Barnsley up against West Brom. That's on Friday. Uh, we've got uh, 
Uh, we got Middlesbrough against Bournemouth. Early kickoff on uh, Saturday. Cardiff against Derby. Also early kickoff. Leicester Rovers against Birmingham. Coventry against Stoke. QPR against Swansea. Uh, we got Reading against Luton. Bristol City against Huddersfield. Blackpool against Peterborough. Uh, we have Nottingham Forest against Hull and Bill against Preston. And another Monday night game. What's that all about? Follow up against Sheffield United, of course. What is it all about? That, my friends, is just about that. Be sure to give the video some love and please smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course Patreon as well. And also make sure you check out the the sassy link for this guy. That's right, bloody sexy Blackburn Get it for your Christmas, but for your stocking, for your other half, for your kids, whatever. It comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes. It also comes in a in a, in a mug, but uh, not this mug. And it also comes in red, white, and blue. So make sure you check it out. Link is in the description. Get in amongst it, Rovers. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I didn't think this. I would never, never have imagined a, a, a three a, a, a two nil win uh, to take the three points from Bur from Bournemouth this weekend. I was hoping for a draw if we were lucky, but three points. Absolutely fantastic. Make sure you get involved. Smash your subscribe and see you soon for the next one, of course, which will be Birmingham. We'll be looking forward to that game probably from midweek. But until then, boys, we are out of here.